There's hair from cutting my bangs in my eyeball. Stop. <laughs> Are you a fashion model? Yeah. Are you also a fashion designer? I'm on that. So you know you have to get a chair really fit, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, but guys, is it bad? So I wasn't sure, because I, I cut my hair last week, but then I wasn't sure if you're supposed to bleach your hair right after, because after I get my hair cut, my head is irritated. So we're going to do it. We're going to bleach it tomorrow, because I feel like that is smart. And then I can dye it pink after that because she's gonna fix all the black parts someone called me a cheetah under my video i'm gonna have oh <laughs> guys look at my curvy house shoes i hate hair in my mouth so bad <laughs> mom you got 30 more seconds before okay. i leave this bathroom oh right, tomorrow um so my head has time to like chill because so my head always itches really bad after i get a cut then we'll do pink or i might i really kind of i'm leaning toward a pink heart in the middle after she fixes the bleach so we'll see okay i'm doing my makeup because i made a video about what the hell was that about oh i made a video showing everyone me trying to bleach my hair myself Ooh, it wasn't good so I have to fix it and I'm doing my makeup because I want to make a couple videos today My sister's in my living room and my mom is out there. But I, oh, I came here to show y'all the blush I'm gonna use so this is Dragon fruit days by house labs. Look at how hot pink it is. It's not even as hot pink as it really is It's so vibrant and I just wanted to show y'all when I put it on watch and this is with a very light hand because she has pigment. And my face is so dry right now because I, I'm going for a matte look because I kind of want to see how long my makeup lasts today. Can you see that? It's so pretty. I'm literally going like this. Cute. Oh, you know what I started eating again too? Don't hate, they're good. Like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, I don't want to hear it. I feel like there's certain candies and snacks that people just know that people don't like. So they decide that they don't like them because of that before you actually have them. Like, have you ever even had a Whopper before you say they're nasty? No, exactly. Don't piss me off. It's time for the monster. It literally feels like torture. <laughs> my mom's about to fix my hair. Cause a lot of y'all got a lot to say. And you better watch out. You didn't give the full introduction. Oh, sorry. Introducing my mom, the beautician and hairdresser. That's right. Mom, it's mixed, come on. I just wanna make sure that it's- Put bleach mm -hmm. in my hair, please. And I'm gonna use my hand cause I can see. All right, girl. You don't want gloves? No. In case you don't remember what my hair looked like before. <laughs> when I used to get bullied at school, I would come home and tell my mom people were bullying me. And she would say, tell them that God loves them. That's right. Ooh, that burned already. Burned? Okay. Yeah. Because you washed your hair too. <sighs> Did you put anything in it, Sean? Any oils or anything? No. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Sorry. Look, I'm doing the two teeth thing. Ooh. Sean, I know you didn't put nothing in here. Is it <laughs> Watch this, y'all. Ready, mom? Yeah. Waves on swim, so they hate on him. Take it away. Waves don't swim, so they hate on him. Mo not waves don't swim. Waves on swim, so they hate on him. Waves on swim, so they hate on him. Oh, now, yeah. say, now say, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta say like Ariana Grande. Go, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. She goes like this. She goes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you listened to Cowboy Carter? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. The black country you sing, Cowboy singer, right? Beyonce? Oh. <laughs> Cowboy Carter is Beyonce's album. Ooh, it's just the sides that be burning. Oh my gosh. Someone said I should have done scalp protector. What is scalp protector? Well, obviously the name tells me what it is, but like I didn't even know that that was something you could. Would you like maybe like Vaseline or something like that? Oh, I thought they were saying like for around my hair because I know people put Vaseline like around the perimeter of where they bleach, but I don't know that's what they meant. Around your ears too. Guys, why do I use foil instead of plastic? Please let me know, guys. Guys, answer me. Why do we use foil instead of plastic? Answer me quickly. Who's bothering me? Oh, it is my boyfriend. <laughs> this is like when I was in middle school and I said, Mom, you took me to get a perm. And the lady said, hey, make sure y'all don't put bleach on this. And you, you were sure like, did. wait, wait. And I, and I said, okay. Uh, and then we went home. And then you were like, let's put bleach on this. I said, no, 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 no. She said not to put bleach on it. And then you made me put bleach on it. And then my edges fell out. Do you remember that? I remember what your edges, mm -hmm. yeah. I sure and I had to wear a, guys, I had to wear a fake bang because I had no 
hair at the front of my head. Oh, I just noticed I'm gonna have to dye my um eyebrows too. I got black eyebrows with platinum blonde hair. All right, guys, I'm gonna let her cook. I'll be back after I finish telling everyone about space because that's what I look like. Tennis star, Shaolin Trishan. You know what? Y'all be making good edits. My followers make good edits. I get those edits where it's me in the real world and it's not always just thirst traps. This is like when they do edits of sports. It's like, oh wait, no. It looks like that. Can't wait till I'm a tennis champion. How's it looking, Mom? Nothing look real blonde. Oh, girl, no. you scare me. Should we wash it out? Should we wash it out? Look at her finger. It's better now, but it was literally st like under her skin white. I'm gonna use the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner because this is the best leave-in conditioner on the market. I did over bleach my edges a little. I literally should have waited until like the literal last second possible, and then I still didn't even get them all. Now it is literally platinum. I think I left on this bleach for way longer than I left on the bleach the other day. So some parts are a little more gold, but that's okay. I don't really care. Oh, that feels good. Oh. Oh my gosh. I love a good scratch sesh on my hair. Tell me how bad of a bitch I am. Well, actually, don't call me no bitch. And then tomorrow, we're gonna put a heart in it. Bye. I don't know if you guys can even hear me, but my mom loves space, and we tried to take the observatory last time, but we couldn't. So we're surprising her again this year. We're getting ready for her right now. She doesn't know we're taking We've been telling her we're going to some vintage. Some vintage thrift shop. She's store, so I'm getting dressed. Okay, so I'm getting dressed for this vintage thrift store. We've never been. Um, tried to go one other time. Didn't work out. Um, let me close the door because my sister has this loud ass background. There's so much noise. I'm just gonna talk real loud. There's big cargos, and I actually slept in this, but it's kind of cute. So do you think I should do that or just the black top? I think I just look good in black, so I'm kind of reaching for this, but I'm gonna go ask my family. Okay, so they said the black shirt, but I bought this fake belly piercing on the TikTok shop a while ago. Oh, I don't trust that this is gonna stay in. I don't even know how to wear a belly ring. I think it's the bottom. Do you put it on the bottom? That doesn't even look normal. Let me try, I think the top, it has to be the top. Um, that doesn't even look real. Does that look real for even one second? I don't think it looks real at all. Okay, we're about to leave soon. Our mom doesn't tell I don't think right. No, she doesn't know anything. I would say this seems familiar to you. This white and thick, you know. Find it far. Married to what? The observatory. See it there. <laughs> <laughs> you knew? No. No. What? I don't know, but I, but I've seen this seems very familiar. The whining rules and no parking and stuff. Surprise! Thank you. I, I'm surprised you didn't notice earlier. This is the exact same route we took last yeah, time. <laughs> Hi vlog. Oh. Twin. Where have you been? Nobody knows me like you do. Nobody knows. That's kind of hurting. Your voice is like. It was hurting a little. Where the hell is our mom? She's still in the corner listening to someone random. I love my sister. <laughs> Nobody knows me. Now you are. Look at me. I am. Can you see my shoes? Yeah. Can they see my shoes now? Yeah. <laughs> my pretty sister, I can do that too. I can do that too. Yeah, I can do that too. Yup. Yup. I don't, okay. Like, okay. Like, okay. What are you doing? Guess what's in this jar, guys? This is a McCormick. Seasoning jar. My mother put jojoba oil in it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't do I it. Have sensory problems. Stop, 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 stop. It's stop. literally giving me like a crazy sensory overload. I can't do it right. <laughs> this is I'm like messing up. <laughs> <laughs> I literally feel like I'm being electrocuted. Wait, it actually looks good. What the heck? Take a Guys, that looks pretty good, no? Take a picture, let me see. Hey, I think I did a good job. <gasps> You're not going to color it in. I'm so sure. I thought you were. 
Oh, I can. Let me get a bigger one. I, I just didn't know you wanted that. She's dying my hair, pink with nair, nowhere to go, mm -hmm. but home alone. Mm -hmm. And she's on a boat with a goat. Mm -hmm. Keep rap, Ricky, freestyle. If I go, will you go? No. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you so much to my sister. It's so cute. Okay, I'm tired. Uh, bye. bye. We're going to the Melrose Trading Post today and the farmer's market, so. I'm getting ready. Oh my gosh, my allergies. Oh, the allergies. They've been, they've been, they've been rocking me. Like, they've been giving every morning, every morning. And it's actually getting so insanely absurd. I'm actually so tired of it. But I was gonna do natural makeup, but then I realized we're gonna be late. So I'm just gonna do my regular makeup because that's also kind of quick. Okay, I'm taking MAC Costa Riche. I'm not gonna do a wing today, I don't think. I'm trying to find different makeup looks instead of just sticking to my default. So I think I really wanna rely on lashes today. So I'm just doing like the line of my eye, very thinly, so that it kind of still doesn't really necessarily look like I have on eyeliner. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did over there, over here, and I'm just really trying to take it in instead of out onto my eyelid, and then really just like a micro centimeter above my eye line. Like this is as far as I wanna take it. Just so it looks like I have a little something on, but not really. And then right up to the end is where I stop. Like, I think I like that. Then I'm gonna do a very gentle line across my bottom, my waterline. Nothing too deep. And I'm gonna connect that up here. And that's it. That's as far as I wanna do for mascara, for a liner today. Then I'm gonna take my Taunty Doll. And I think I'm gonna just do my regular mascara today. Instead of the little three point mascara I'll tend to do sometimes. And my camera is dying. If it dies, I will get a new battery. You know what? I wanna finish this eye before it dies. And then I'm just gonna go crazy because this one does the best job for me in regards to product distribution. And then I'm gonna use the KVD mascara next for lengthening because while the Lancome does give lengthening properties, I feel like the KVD just extends it further. So if you look right now, look at when I add, oh my gosh, don't distract me. Do you see? That's crazy. Lazy, sorry. Then we're gonna do the other eye. I'm also trying to find looks that make my eyes look closer together. There's nothing wrong with far or wide set eyes. I just prefer mine to be closer set because I think it looks better on me. It's also so interesting to watch the way you feel about certain makeup routine and styles change over time. I used to just solely wear lashes to the point where I didn't even wear mascara with them. Just lashes. And that was, and that was all I needed. A pair of lashes and I was out the door. But then something shifted and I was like, wait, mascara? Mascara's kind of tea. I'm wearing my Ed Hardy dress today. I'll stand up and show it to you guys. I bought this on eBay like four years ago and I just never wore it. I felt like I couldn't style it. Couldn't figure out what to wear with it because I bought it when I just wanted Y2K clothes and I didn't really know what to do with it because I have sort of a sense of style, but not really because I really just be wearing shit. I was gonna wear my Death Note shirt, but I changed my mind. But I actually think I'm gonna do my hair on TikTok. So I'll show you guys the after. Oh, y'all wanted to see the dress. Super cute. I look hella thick. I mean, I am thick, so I just look like what I am. Here, just put my lace down. Luckily, my hair's already styled, so that's good. My lace is a bit dark, though. I think this is a really old wig, so I think this is from before companies really started to get it going and get it popping. Just miss me with the drama, unless you come in with the cameras. Okay, this is gonna look so good. I can I can feel it in my bones. Do you feel it in your bones? Look. Let's Let's, let's merge bones. Ooh, they never had a pretty girl from Joe Burke. Oh my gosh, this is the part that I like the most. Oh, are you kidding me? This is gonna look gorgeous. Oh, I should have put some silk spray on my hand. There's still time. I know people do oil, but I've never done that. And I'm a little afraid to try it, but okay. Okay, we silk sprayed it. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I've really low key been eating with the hair. Like what? That is literally gorgeous. Uh-oh, the front piece is always the bother. Uh-oh, it looks like she's gonna be a problem. Don't make me have to get a hot comb out like Oh, see me now and that's what they prefer. We're gonna have to like splice and dice. Like chicken fried rice. I thought that was funny. 
My band is definitely not ready to come off, but I need to see the rest of my hair to style it. Sorry. Cause y'all see how up here look a little crazy. That's not what I'm going for. Please, I don't got time for you to be playing. You've got to lay flat. You've got to, like, I don't make the rules. You simply must. Wait, why is this kind of cute? Oh my gosh, this is adorable. If this wasn't in my eyeball, like that, ooh, that'd be cute, but um, no. <laughs> it's literally in my eye. Yes, the hot comb is smoking. There's not much time. Do you guys see the smoke coming from my hot comb? Yeah, I put it on like the hottest setting possible. Safe, probably not. Provide pure country, absolutely. We're looking cute and good. Nothing will ever make styling my hair fun for me. I will always hate it. <coughs> Burn bad, man. I, ooh, my ear is tingling a little bit. I mean, it's definitely a hot comb. <laughs> I mean, we're getting somewhere. Not sure where, but somewhere. <laughs> ooh, okay, that's not ideal, um, but I ain't got no time to be mad about my hair, so I'm gonna have to just like figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna put my band back on and then, cause I gotta go, like I gotta go. At first my sister was taking too long, now it's me. Like now I'm the problem. I think I'm gonna just, you know, stop right here. Cause I feel like this is the best we're gonna get. So we're gonna call it a day. I get for trying new makeup. I look like a horror movie doll. This setting spray is literally a trigger warning. It needs to come with one. <gasps> okay, uh, Mac sent me a whole bunch of their Maximal Matte Lipsticks a while ago, and I've been using, oh my gosh, what's it called? Kinda Sexy. Oh my gosh, the shade is just gorgeous. It makes the most beautiful matte lips. But I wanna try something different today. So today I'm gonna try Sin because I don't really wear dark lips anymore. That's just, that was kinda when I was, you know, my younger days when I was a young girl, you know, auntie's old now. So I wanna try something a little darker, a little sexier. <gasps> oh, oh, it's giving vampy. It's giving, <laughs> wait, this is gorgeous. In another life, I used to wear dark lips all the time. And then, I don't know, I just got bored with it, but Wow, she's sexy. Now, is this a smart way to hold a flat a, a hot comb? Probably not, but I need to get this side. Like, it just won't go flat, no matter how much. I'm sitting here like pressing this shit into my head so hard that it feels like I'm like holding it against my scalp. It just won't flatten. This is horrible, I have to go finish her cake. My sister loves black, as I mentioned prior. So I'm making her a black cake. Well, it's vanilla cake, but it's gonna be, I'm gonna dye the icing black. Maybe some of these will help it stay flat. I don't know, but I'm hoping so. Or if not, it's kind of a cute style, so whatever. And then my lace is literally coming apart at the top. Y'all, I need to go, I'm stressed. Something about my look just isn't hitting. Nothing is looking right. My eyes look scary. All the glasses look crazy. Guys, why'd you set me up for failure with this makeup look? This is gonna have to be the look in question because um, I'm running out of time and my sister's birthday is more important than how I look. So, gotta go. Let's go make a cake. Ricky's birthday card. Ricky's birthday card. <laughs> so we're not off to the greatest start with balloons. Um, this loose ass balloon, oh no. That's a loose ass balloon. Okay, it's floating though, but it's loose. Ooh, these gonna stress me out. Okay, 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 okay. Please get out of this pan. Please get out of this pan. Please get out of this pan. Like, I'm not even playing. 
get out of this pan. I really need you to get out. Oh, it smells so good. I feel like if anything needs to be done, it's the cake. Okay, 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 okay. Guys, we gotta move quick. We've got to move quick. I literally barely know how to make a cake. Anything I know about how to make a cake is because my best friend taught me and she's not here right now because I don't have time. So I'm just gonna do what she said, which is cut off the top so that it's flat, I think. Wow, that looks so good. Need it to be a flat layer of cake, I think. I literally am just making this up as I go. I'm pretty sure that's what she said though. I really don't know. Wait, now do I flip it though? I flip it then, right? No, yes, no. I feel like flipping it's right. I really hope that's right. Wait, I wanna try the cake. It looks so yummy and it smells so good. Mmm, that is good. Now I gotta make the black icing and then put it in the fridge. I'm literally so overwhelmed. I'm gonna make the black icing. I wish I had blue too. I might have blue, cause I know she likes black and blue, but as far as I know, black is like the main culprit. I just got some like standard vanilla frosting, or I think it's just white frosting, and then some black food coloring. My friend told me that this is supposed to be like a really good black food coloring. Whoa, it looks great. Wait, this is cool though. It kind of is, well now it looks a little blue. I need it to be like black icing, like black. This don't look black though. It look kind of like dark gray. It's literally gonna have to work. This is as black as I feel like it's gonna get. Let me taste it. Oh, it's good. It doesn't really taste like there's food coloring in it. I should have put the cake in the goddamn freezer. For some reason, I put it in the fridge instead of the freezer. So it's not as hard where it would be a little easier to put this icing on it, but I feel like it'll be fine. Wait, guys, it kind of looks like a deep blue. And guess what her other favorite color is? Blue. And it's kind of giving like mermaid cake. Not bright Disney mermaid, but like dark, scary siren mermaid. Wait, this is so cool. I really hope she loves it. I try really hard to make sure that people feel seen on their birthday because I think that's the whole point. I really try to mix all of her interests into one thing or multiple things. So I really hope that that's how it like relays to her. I really have such minimal baking experience it's not even funny, like, as much as it looks like I don't know what I'm doing, it's accurate. I don't know what I'm doing. And this board is freaking messy. I don't know how I'm even gonna clean it. I'm gonna try. I want it to be very pretty and cute. Suspicious ass sister can't be held off any longer. So now I have no time to finish. And she's mad suspicious. I have half the cake done, and I really have just about nothing done. I, I literally don't have anything done. I just put the cake in the freezer so that it, oh my gosh, I'm so discombobulated. Everyone shut up. I just put the icing in the frosting bag and I put that in the freezer and the cake in the freezer until I'm ready. And now I'm trying to make the blue for the writing on the cake. Whoa, that's so pretty. My sister is so suspicious though. My mom is trying to hold her off and she can't, she's so damn suspicious. The problem is they're visiting me so them not being with me is suspicious. Oh my gosh, I'm literally fighting against the clock. Everyone chill, everyone chill. I hope this is enough to write happy birthday, Ricky. I love you so much. You're the sweetest sister ever that's ever lived. So, you know, I'm really hoping this is enough to write that. Hey guys, it's the editor here. As you can see, I'm 20. It's Ricky's birthday. It's a national holiday. <laughs> It's a holiday. It's the birthday girl. You can sing too. It's the birthday girl. It's her birthday and she's turning 20. Take it away, mom. She's 20. She is 20. Yeah, yeah. She is 20. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. She's, she's 20. 20. Yeah. On your birthday, she is your birthday, and she's 30. Yeah. That's my sister's, cause she doesn't like the salts, and that's my mom's, and that's mine. Guys, if I could, if I could completely come up, if I could come up, let me tell you something. If I could come up with a way. If I could come up with a way that you could get your teeth fixed without having to be in obsessive, ridiculous, copious amounts of pain at the dentist, I'm gonna do it if it's the last thing I do. I feel like this this isn't giving what it should be. Is that giving? Ooh, she just did her hair really quick and then she found these cute little ribbons. Okay, wait, maybe it kind of is. Maybe I should do a portrait shoot in this. I haven't done one in a while. We'll assess the vibe as the day goes on. Okay, we're going to Disconso. Disconc gardens. I hope that's how you say that. And we're gonna be cute little fairies. How girly teen girl I look today. Ooh.
Yeah. Okay, um, today I'm gonna be the Loch Ness Monster. Can you tell? I'm so curious. Do any of you- <coughs> Do any of you guys- Wait, I lost my train of thought. This is actually sick and twisted. Do any of you guys watch my videos, but you don't comment? Well, obviously, that there's a lot of you because I'll have 4,000 views on a video, but not 4,000 comments, so obviously, but with you guys that don't comment, I'm genuinely curious. I ask this on stream all the time. What stops you from commenting? Do you just like to watch? I just kind of like to know. I'm very curious, and I think it's interesting to see, like, why some people choose to comment, why some people choose not to, and you guys that comment. What is, like, the deciding factor that you're gonna comment on this video? Is it because you resonated with something so much you wanted to say something? Do you just comment on everything? Why? I'm so curious. I think about that all the time. I always ask them on stream because I'll have like 200 people in my stream, but only like six or seven of them will talk. So I'll just be curious and I'll be like, why do you guys that don't talk, why don't you talk? And I always like to hear the different reasons because some people will say they're just a little awkward. They don't know what to say. Some people will say they feel like they don't know, like they don't want to be left out of like a convo or some people will say they're just silent watchers. So it's really interesting to see that like everyone has their own reason. It's kind of cool to me. So I'm just curious. I need to find a new bronzer. If anyone has any recommendations, speak clearly into the mic because I've been using the same one and I kind of just want to try something new. It's the start. Have something new. That's what I want to feel with a new bronzer. So let me know if you have a recommendation. I've legit been using this one for probably like two years now. <laughs> and I just want to try something new. But then it's also like bronzer is one of those things where I feel like, are they all very different? Are they really, or are they all kind of the same thing? Okay, I turned the light on because it was giving vampire, but now I'm confused because I saw a TikTok that said that you should keep your AC on at all times. And that's how you reduce your bill. He said, just always keep it on. But I like to open my window. Obviously with the, with the net, so I'm not letting buggers and birds in. So I feel like, don't you have to turn your AC off to do that though if you're gonna open the windows? Now I'm confused. So if I keep it on, on 78 all the time, that's supposed to reduce your bill, but then if I open windows, I'm supposed to turn it off? But then I thought the whole point was to never turn it off, so now I'm confused. My makeup looks kind of tea today. I think I'm gonna make like a reel or a short about my lip routine. Maybe something about my mascara routine because I just look really cute. I kind of did my regular makeup routine, but I added the slightest bit of white. And damn, the white eyeliner really is just my thing. If you don't know me, just know white eyeliner is my thing. Now we're gonna do some mascara. -y. Should I make a reel about this? I'll show you guys and I'll show the reel. And I'm dropping all my stuff, don't distract me. Dude, this is really the best lip routine I've had in a while, I fear. And I'm gonna make my sister look just like this today. It's gonna be so fun. You don't even know. My sister, oh, I don't know if I told you guys what we're doing today. Today I'm turning my sister into me, which is gonna be so cute and fun and cute and cute and fun into you. And I'm gonna make her look exactly like me. I'm gonna put my wig on her and everything. She's gonna be my doppelganger because she kind of is already. We look just alike. I'm gonna give you my mascara routine, my current mascara routine, because it honestly changed around a bit, but this is where it's at right now. I'm talking to them, but you could pay attention. I'm gonna use the Lancome Idole Lash because no matter what I try, I always gravitate back to her. And I start from the root up, and I really just try to heavily coat her. I don't feel like I get too much lengthening from this mascara, but I like the way it applies and I like how it separates my lashes. I think it applies beautifully and it doesn't put too much product on my eye because what I'm gonna put on next is where we're gonna get the lengthening. Like this is really good for a, a nice soft lash, but at the same time, it does a beautiful job. Like, look at that. Look at how it separated them. That's just gorgeous. I kind of like how I look with no mascara too. I'm not gonna lie. I think that there was a couple times where I would go out without mascara and eyeliner, but I wasn't sure if I liked how it looked. I feel like sometimes you do something and you're like, 
this feels cute, but am I telling myself the truth? That felt like one of those things, so I need y'all to tell me. Did this look good before I added the mascara? Cause I need somebody to be real with me. Cause I can't tell. Somebody come get her, she ain't dancing. Oh, and I was moving on in the tutorial without telling you what I was doing. This is the KVD full sleeve mascara. Now this is where the lengthening comes in. You just watch, you just watch. Are you kidding me? My lashes are not this long. Like, look at this one right here. My eyelashes are long, but I don't think they're that long. I always watch TV. And you know that you watch those shows where girls at, at mascara like comes up to here? Yeah, I wish, but mine are not that long. Which is funny because when I was younger, my eyelashes actually used to touch my eyebrows. But I also feel like I had bigger eyebrows because that had to make sense. But I remember that was a thing. My eyelashes would touch my eyebrows if I like did a certain, like if I went like that or something. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Look at the KVD and look at the regular. Nobody gonna love me the way I like you. I'm on older sister duty today. I'm taking my little sister to the mall. Well, I'm taking her to the Grove. See, I'm, I lived in Texas for a long time, so it was very like retirement Texas. Stop. We had forums? I don't know if they have forums everywhere. I don't know if that was silly, but the Grove is kind of like a forum, if you know what a forum is. It's like a gaggle of stores. I don't consider the Grove a mall, but it is a mall. I don't know. I'm taking her to the Grove. I'm excited because my sister is 20, so. I don't know, I wasn't expecting her to want to like hang out with her big sis when she was 20. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Lip Oil, by the way. I love this thing. Like, I look like, 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 very much left. It just smells so good. I don't even know if it really works. It just smells really good. Well, it does work. It is moisturizing, but even if it wasn't, that should smell good. For the first time, I think, I don't know if I've used this before. Oh, it's open, but I don't remember. This is the Crave Beauty Beat the Sun sunscreen. I think the rule of thumb is like two fingers of sunscreen. So I'm trying to not only use the Naterium one that I like. It's that orange one by Naterium. I love that thing, but I don't know. You should branch out, so I'm branching out. Please, no white cast. Ever since I saw that picture that was on Twitter, and it was a lady saying that she never put sunscreen on her neck, only her face, and her face was so smooth, and then her neck, like, like it was just very obvious she never put sunscreen on her neck. And I was like, whoa, let me put some sunscreen on her neck. I moisturized with my Lancome, I wanna say Renergie? I don't know how to pronounce it. I feel so embarrassed when I have products that I can't even pronounce. It just feels so embarrassing. Is that a white cast? I can't tell. I don't think so. No, no, it's not a white cast, right? No, it's not a white cast. I feel like that looks good. Oh no, that does look good. No white cast, I look glowy. I'm gonna let that sit for five minutes and we'll be back to do makeup. I wanna try the KVD foundation again. Now, this is absolutely not the first time I've tried this foundation. This is the first time I think I have an actual shade match. Because I have this foundation, but this one they sent me is Tan 066, but the one that I got at their event is Tan 063. I'm hoping there's a significant difference, to be real. Oh wait, no, this looks darker. Let's try, let's try. Is mixing highlighter into my foundation stupid? Kinda wanna try it, you know, what's what's wrong with a little stupid? Let's, let's, let's just give it a whirl. I'm gonna mix it with the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm in, oh, and it's called Glowgasm. I don't know why as I mix it on my hand, it kinda looks like it didn't do anything. It does look pretty standard. I thought that would be cute, like a glowy foundation. Now I did still make my mixture because I could tell when I put it on my hand, this wasn't gonna match me. I love putting foundation on this way. It feels so smooth. And I know people talk about putting foundation on your forehead. I have bangs. Why do I need to put foundation on my forehead? You don't even see it. I'm gonna let my forehead breathe. Also, I like the way that this Revlon concealer looks, but it's almost like oily or watery in the tube. Like when I put it on, sometimes it looks like water. That feels a little weird to me, but I don't know what it means. So I'm gonna shut up. I don't really only like this side of my face. You know that joke about Ariana Grande where people would try to get angles for her and she'd be like, that's me. Which is weird because I also think I look normal this way, but if I could have it my way, this way for sure. Also, I'm still watching Vanderpump Rules. This is Quirk by Milk, Milk Sculpt Stick Blush. That show is truly insane. Like, I'm sorry, that show's insane. I'm on season, I actually don't know what season I'm on now. I think I'm on season five. Katie and, if you don't know anything about Vanderpump Rules, honestly, it's too much lore to try to explain, so I'll put a timestamp to skip here. Katie and Tom are about to get married. They're about to go to New Orleans, or they just got to New Orleans. These people are nuts. I don't understand how they're friends. The way that Katie Katie talks to people is gray. What do you mean you're texting people? Also, Pink Velvet by Crab Child. What do you mean you're texting your friends talking about I'm tired of arguing with my boyfriend about you guys? 
seriously, every time it's about you. What? And they're still friends with you? Like, I don't get how people remain friends in this dynamic and they've all been friends for like six plus years. Like what? I know healthy friendships have conflict, but that don't feel like conflict. It feel like they got constant beef. I'm about to whipping my ass so bad right now. This has been me all morning. This is the napkin that I used to wipe my makeup brushes in, but I needed something in my nose immediately or else today would be ruined by my allergies for the 50,000th time. They just sit here. I have allergies all the time. They get exceptionally worse during this season. And oh my gosh, like all morning, I've probably went through 45 tissues. Like this is sick and twisted. But I wanna try a different color on my eyelid than what I usually do. I usually use Costa Riche by MAC, which is, um, it's a brown with, I wanna say a purple hue, very faint purple hue, maybe a red hue. But chestnut I think is like a standard brown. And I also think it's a lip pencil. But I just wanna start trying something different. Mm. It doesn't look very different from the shade I use normally, so that's good. Let me finish my my eyes. Damn, Hydro Flask is a strong ass bitch. All she got was a little scratch. Um, using the KVD. I always forget what this thing is called. Full sleeve mascara. This is truly top five, and it ain't five, four, three, two, or one mascara. Look at that. Stop. Look at that thing. Like, that's a good mascara. She's a good man, Savannah. I meant he's a good man, Savannah, because I said she's a good man, Savannah, but I meant he's a good man, Savannah. So the worst thing ever, I got mascara in my wig. Uh-uh. Ah! <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for going through that with me. I wanna try a new blush. This is the NARS Orgasm Blush. I don't know if I've used this, but I have no recollection if I have. But I don't really wear shimmery blush much. Oh, that's quite gorgeous. I like that. I like it. I think it's really pretty, but it seems like there's a tinge of like orange when I turn my head. I see a little bit of an orange shimmer, which I'm not obsessed with. I think I would have been happier if it didn't really give like that. There's like a little bit of like a like a orange shimmer. I wish the shimmer was pink and matched the blush, but mm, I don't know, it's not the end of the world. Also, I think I wanted a deeper blush today. That She's a little light, but I think it's pretty though. I do think it's pretty. I think I like it and I would wear it, but not often because I don't like the shimmer, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's just put on some highlighter. Let's do the Give Beauty Carrot Country. It looks like this. Give Beauty's highlighters are Gorge. Gorgy, Gorgiana, Regina Gorge. Regina Gorge. Look at that, that's pretty. Oh, oh, you see that? Yeah, no, get into it. Did you get it? Like, you know how it's get into it? Yeah, I said get into it. No, yeah. You know what I don't really do anymore? And let me know if you do it because I like it. I just kind of stopped for some reason. Normally when I do my lips, I blend the darker lip liner into the rest of my lip. But I used to just do an outline and a color in the middle. But I stopped. But let's try to do a color in the middle and an outline today. Let me see. What color should we do? What color should we do? What color should we do? What is this? Long comb. This looks pretty deep though. I was thinking something that would stick out to something a little lighter. What is this? NARS. But this feels like a, like a lip shimmer moment. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do NARS Orgasm. What's the names of the shade? Yeah, I, I guess so. Nars Orgasm. Let's do this as the starter. Let's make her the starter. Oh, that is such a beautiful shimmer. Oh, that's pretty. I'm taking this in my purse. Okay, wait, I didn't really blend it in, so that's good, that's good. Then I wanted to try adding this Pixie. I don't know what this is. I think it's like for your eyes. If it looked like a lip gloss tube, it quack like a lip gloss tube. It's a lip gloss tube. Whoa, do you see that? Oh my gosh. I've been looking at this in my beauty drawer for a while too and I've just never put it on. <sighs> look how pretty my sister is. She's like a little dolly. You look like corpse wear. Again. You always say that. It's just because you the do. Blue. And the eyes. Cutie. Say. Wait, what did she say in the movie? It, 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 <laughs> um, I don't know what the F I'm wearing. Alexa, what's the weather? It's gonna rain? I don't play about driving during the rain. We must be home on time then. Pretty sure this is what I wanna wear. It's this handset from, how do you read this? Kale Ball? I don't know. When I was in the Fenty house, Dawn had a green one and I was like, where did you get that? And she was like, it was my mom's, it's vintage. And I was like, fuck. 
So I scoured the internet for it and I found one. I liked the color hers was, but I found red and I, I had to settle for what I could find. Let's put it on. And I did get too overwhelmed with the outfit. I don't love the hat, I won't hold you. It's just kind of floating on top of my head and I don't know how to not make it do that. I'm wearing YSL Libre today. That is a good perfume. Like they were in the stew cooking, like they were in the stew like, I'm their biggest fan. Like, does it look better the more I bring it to the forefront? Or if I kind of let it like take the back? No, like it looks bad regardless. That's like a fit shot. It just never works. And I'm a big pretender because I forgot I'm putting this wig on. I want to try it out today. It's not this color. It's like brown and black. Don't hit Billie Holiday. I'm afraid. What if I hate it? We're literally leaving to go to the mall. We're going to the mall. So if I don't like it, that's not very good. I have high hopes, I'm not gonna lie. It's kinda cute. Shiance who? This might be cute. It's got bangs, you know I love a bang. I'm so bald. <laughs> I'm literally the baldest person that's ever lived. Oh, okay. Wait, I should wear it like this. Cunty. Whoa, I kinda like it a little bit. I think I'm gonna like this. Wait, I kinda look like a soccer mom. Wait, what? What? It was so cute for like six seconds. Wait, I need a comb. A comb will save me. I look like I have kids to pick up. I want a damn kids. I don't think I look like that girl on the box. This is not what I look like. Why hers look so Y2K down the boots? Like, mine don't. And if I pull these bangs back any further, like... Okay, I'm just gonna have to cut some bangs. We're gonna have to cut some bangs, guys. Okay, at least we could definitely wear a hat with this. It's giving hat hair. I guess that's good. It's in my eyes. Oh my gosh, it's in my eyes. We're gonna have to get to work. Like, I got places to be. I feel like everyone does this. They, they grab it, right? All the hairstylists literally screaming at their phones. I feel like it's something like this. I need to close my eyes. I hate hair in my eyes. That doesn't feel very great. <laughs> No! Did you guys used to play Baby Chrissy on dressupgames.com? Was that on dressupgames.com? It was on one of them, them websites. Um, I'm actually very far from eating. Wait, 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 We're starting to get somewhere. <laughs> I feel like I'm seeing deliverance. Maybe like DoorDash. Not quite deliverance. Like maybe like Uber Eats. I don't know why I'm doing that. Like it's like physically paining me. But it's making me feel better. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I don't- What? I don't hate it. She just needed a straight across bang. That was it. She just needed a straight across bang. Now, would I wear this without a hat? Um, hell no. I would absolutely never wear this without something covering the top. And there's hair on my freaking freaky face. Let me show you why I'd never wear this without a hat. That's why. So, um, no. What's the back give though? Does the back give at least? Does it give Cowboy Carter? Or maybe like Cowboy Clarence? Cowboy Carlton? Maybe Cowboy Carlton? Like look, right? Like, Alexa, play Truth or Dare by Tyla. Oh, let's see. That's kind of, whoa, is that good? Guys, I feel like it's starting to look worse and worse. <laughs> no, no, it looks bad. I've decided it looks bad. Guys, no, this is horrible. This is horrid. I look a mess. A hat can't even save me, this is serious. Like, there's no saving her. There's no saving it. Like, it just has to look crazy today, and I just can't wait. Is a claw clip my sa Hello? Is a claw clip my saving grace today? There's no way. There's no way I can make this look like real enough to survive a claw clip. Please, I look like Coconut Head. You kidding me? Guys, if this hat doesn't save it, she literally has to go. Like, I don't deserve a fucked up wig. This is the worst I've ever looked. Like I think ever, 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 ever. I've never looked crazier. Nothing looks right. I look crazy. I look crazy. And there's just no saving it. There's just no saving it. I'm gonna go be so sad at the Grove. I've been using that Kryolan setting spray like religiously now. And look, I blew my nose so many times. Why? Look at my nose contour. She's okay. She's still alive. Turn that shit off. Um, where's our pizza? I'm about to get here today. <laughs> I thought you were just holding it there being annoying at first because you're covering the recording thing, so I can't I tell am? you're recording. Where is it? There's like a red light right here that, so I can know you're recording, so I couldn't see it. Oh. Are you done? Oh. <laughs> 
I'm making dinner for my family because while they're here, um, they think I'm a personal chef. So I am making my mushroom and chicken pasta. Oh, ow! sorry, don't you? No. Then why'd you say ow? Okay, I got this dress from Taobao. I got a medium because it looks really small from the size chart. So I'm gonna try this on. I know that I talked all the shit that I did talk about this wig. I mean, to be real, I didn't talk that much shit. I just kind of said that I look kind of like a longhorn. Like, that's not giving longhorn? I don't know. But my friend is coming over today and we're having a movie night with my family. I don't know why I said my friend. I've talked about Folke all the time. Sometimes I get really nervous to like talk about people even though it's good. Like, I don't know. She's coming over, we're doing movie night with my mom and my sister at seven. So I wanted to film a video where people on TikTok were giving me different suggestions of what I could do to make this week look better. And I was like, wow, some of these are really good ideas. I think I'm gonna try them. So I'm gonna do a video of just trying. Like freaky as shit. I'm gonna do a video of just trying a bunch of those ideas and we'll see. Hopefully someone can save the wig. I do have a bunch of other wigs that I ordered just for like trying on. I'm hoping to find some good ones because I kind of want to dip my toe in straight synthetic wigs. I kind of only play with curly ones and I don't know, this one is sort of growing on me. The grandma wig is growing on me a little bit. Like big wig keep on turning. Like it's it's growing on me. No, I want to keep on burning. I do, do, do. Exactly, like that looks cute. You don't know anything. I'm I'm really feeling the blush today. I'm using Shiel. This someone taught me how to say this. Is it Shiel? It has to be Shiel. That's how it's spelled. It's Shiel. It's the only peach powdered ple powdered peach powdered peach blush powdered powdered bleach powdered peach blush. That was intense, and that just actually pissed me off. Stop looking at me. I'm just kidding. No, stop. No, I'm just kidding. Shut up and leave me alone. I'm just kidding. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm a little hyper. No, I think I'm excited. I think I'm in a good mood. Anyway, I'm using my Almar Cosmetics highlighting brush because this is the this is my favorite kind of tapered brush. It's just so good. And I love it. And I love using it to apply powder blush. Also, I started working with, well, not working with, Shop My, they made an account for me on their app. It's kind of like, if you've heard of L2K and Amazon storefronts, it's kind of like that. And I kind of can make like a catalog. This is also like not sponsored. It sounds so sponsored. I feel like anytime you talk about anything that sounds sponsored, it feels super, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I can like link things when I talk about them in YouTube videos and stuff. So like, I'm gonna use the Give Beauty highlighter and I can like link that to this video so you can just buy it from that. That's so cool and such a cool way to like get commission. I felt like I didn't tell you about that because I feel like everyone's kind of used to my Amazon storefront, but I'm going to be so real. I really like Shop My. Wow, I, I think I'm going to start wearing highlighter again. I don't know why the girlies just woke up one day and were like, we're done with highlighter. I wasn't at that meeting, so I can't agree. Oh, the highlighter is Carrot Country, but of course I'll link that in my Shop My for you. I think that's good for face, like complexion. I do have a ginormo pimple right here coming in and it does hurt a bit. So I'm gonna use some liner. I wanna try using crayon liner for it instead of like a gel liner because I don't think I want it to be black. Okay, I feel like that looks the same as if I would've used black eyeliner. I'm legit not showing up. Oh no, it just kind of looks like um, mascara. There we go. I just twisted it a little. I kind of like how this looks without mascara, but I think I'm gonna put it on anyway. I kind of wish I didn't do mascara. I think it was cute when it looked, now I'm not gonna say natural because I think that would be deranged, but when it looked less drama, I guess. For me, it doesn't feel as though they added much to the look. And I feel as though there was a lot more, I don't know. It felt like the look more looked more intentional before I added the mascara almost. So the next time I do my makeup, I'm not gonna wear mascara. I'm gonna do it the exact same way and not add mascara and see how I feel about it because it truly feels as though this took away any intention of my look. And I don't even know what that the intention was, but it feels like it's disappeared a bit. I don't think I look bad by any means. I'm beautifully, insanely, absurdly gorgeous and sexy and pretty and beautiful. But that's besides the point, you knew that already. Okay, for the center of my lips, I think I wanna keep it a little deeper versus how light I've been doing my lipstick lately. So I'm gonna try out French Tea by Lancome. Oh, this is a bit more peach than I was expecting, but I kinda like it. This is pretty and I feel expensive because it's Lancome. Wait, I like that. Let me define my liner a little more because I really like that. It feels as though there's good depth on my lips. 
I'm like, that looks gorgeous. I think I'm done with my makeup, so I'm gonna set my face and then film the TikTok about different wig styles. So get a good look about what she looks like now, and we'll see what she looks like when I come back. Okay, wait, the makeshift micro bangs are, they're not that bad. I mean, I, like they could look much worse. They could look much worse. I mean, they don't look great, but they could look really bad is the point I'm making. I'm gonna fix this little end piece here. Oh my gosh, I'm literally destroying my eyebrow. Wait, guys, this is not that bad. My hair has looked so much worse. Look, is it kind of eating? Okay, I just finished filming the TikTok and literally none of those tips did anything. So I'm gonna try cutting the micro bangs even microer. <laughs> gonna try cutting them like ultra micro, like, oh, whoa, that's Michael Scott micro, like, whoa. That didn't even make sense. I was trying to like make a pun out of his name and it didn't even work. Oh, what? Guys, why didn't you stop me? You knew this was going somewhere bad and you didn't stop me. My sister cut microbangs in her hair the other day and it looked so good and now I'm irritated. Hers were giving like cute goth alt girl microbangs. Mine are giving like, I'm 12 and I found my mom's scissors and I got to work and I got busy. These are the worst micro bangs that have ever micro banged. I really need to learn to put the scissors down after after this snip. Okay, wait, I evened them. Whoa. Okay, it feels like I at least evened them out now, but it looks bad still. I'm so sad about that. I thought I was eating the boots. Maybe this wig just isn't for me. looks hideous, but I kind of want to shoot a portrait. Let's go do that. I think I want to shoot a couple of shots in this outfit just because it feels kind of cute. It feels very like, oh my gosh, I'm so pretty and I live in California, I don't know. But for the other outfit, I think I might try styling the wig a different way and wearing this outfit that Coco sent me. And it's this pretty velvet, gorgeous, like deep purple top. Well, it's a set. So that's the top and then it's a skirt. It's almost like this mermaid maxi skirt. It's so almost, I don't know what I would describe this as. Cause when I say mermaid, I feel like mermaid isn't even really the vibe. There's just something about Did it. Did you say mermaid? Hi vlog, I had to answer because she talked about mermaids. My sister loves mermaids. This, just look. And oh wow, now I'm in a photo studio. Ooh, that's hot. My sister, I'm gonna show her something. Ready? It's this. Wait, I'm not done. I'm just kidding, what's this? Can you tell me your food? Nothing surprises her, like, this Can is so stupid. Wait, I kind of look like, what's that big military fairy from Fairly Odd Parents? Jorgen Von Strangle. I look like Jorgen Von Strangle. I got this mango butter, and I mean, I was gonna say months, probably a year ago, maybe longer. And I have never used it, so. Oh, I actually bought this in Texas, maybe four years ago, <laughs> but I wanna use it, so. I was figuring out how the hell do you melt down. Oh, best by November 1st, 2022. So I'm sure it's fine to use still. And I'm gonna melt it. I'm gonna try to melt it anyway. I found a TikTok that said you put the thing in boiling water and that's gonna melt it, so I'm gonna try it. Here's the water. I'm afraid. Oh my gosh, it's literally spilling. I'm a little scared, guys. I'm gonna just leave it like this. Kinda hope that that does the job. This is what it looks like so far. It is liquefying now. There is still a lot left to melt, so I don't know if I have to reboil water. So it's hot again, but it's still pretty hot. So I'm gonna let this stay for a little longer before I try that. I'm literally sitting down at the table and I look over and my mom is silently <laughs> going like this. <laughs> like what? There's a face to me and my sister keep making like this. Yeah, you like It's actually fully done now, except for like this literal baby gaggle, which is gonna be fine. I'm gonna take my scissors. This is the, it's not even like hot because it's, I had time to cool down. This is the container I had my old mango butter in. So I'm literally just gonna throw it in here. Whoa, and the camera didn't even show it. Wow, that looks like pee. Well, at least I know it's not. Just gonna get every little last drop. Wow, and then I'm assuming I just, Maybe I put it in the fridge? I'll put it in the fridge, we'll see what happens. I'm in the car, I'm on the way to do something really cool. I'm filming with the Stanley Cup, like in L. H Stanley Cup, like the real Stanley Cup. And the bit is that I'm dressing up as 
or would they be called officiants? With the red tie and the white gloves and the suit. And I'm really scared because I didn't realize I was going to have the real Stanley Cup. And now I'm a little frightened, but I'm excited at the same time. Like stuff like this is when I'm like, wow, like I have such a cool support system online because to be able to be in a place to be holding the Stanley Cup is so cool. And I'm actually so excited about it and would never have this opportunity in a bajillion gazillion Carillion years had it not been everyone that supports me that puts me in a position like this and it's just really cool and I have imposter syndrome down sometimes so stuff like this is like wow maybe I am like meant to be where I'm at like that's cool he don't want to be kept on keep go man go. 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 I love this song this is real love <laughs> I like you. I was afraid of you, but I like you. Are you such a good boy? You're very cute. My heart is so full. I'm like literally. I gotta love him. I'm so happy. What a cute dog. That's my boy. I can't believe I'm touching a dog. Oh, you're. I wonder if dogs get sensory overload. Probably, right? I think Tim probably does. Like he does, he's very sensitive to loud noises. So like if there's like mm. a beep, like he doesn't do anything. He just like if there's a beep, he oh, runs to his great. He's like, I'm scared. Oh, oh watch this, watch this. <laughs> Go like this, Tim. Say, play dead. Play dead. Help! <laughs> He's so cute! Tatcha invited me to a very intimate event. It's about, I think it said it was ceramic, so I think we're doing pottery. This is my outfit so far. The shirt is from, couldn't tell ya, to be honest. You can probably literally Google cropped kind of white shirt. I'm sure you'll find a great one. I think this is from Tiger Mist. It's actually a set and it came with a dress, but the dress did not fit me to save my life, so I donated it. So I just have the, the sweater. Then I've got my little belt and this little denim midi skirts. Not a maxi, not a, not a maxi, not a, ooh, I can't think. Not a maxi, not a mini. I kind of like midi skirts. I don't think that I wear them often, but they kind of eat. I, well, I woke up at 7 a.m. this morning. Whoa, everyone cheer. Um, but I had, that was too early and I was tired. So I went back to sleep and I told my sister, I was like, hey, can you wake me back up at nine? I have to go somewhere at 11 and I want to make breakfast. Out. Yeah, I'm telling them. I'm like, and I need to make breakfast because I, I make breakfast for them. And he's like, okay. Mind you, I wake up, it's 9.50. And I'm looking around like this <gasps> when I realize the time. I'm wearing these shoes because I'm so cute. And I'm taking you guys to pottery. Let's go to pottery. Since I'm going to Tatcha, I'm gonna use Tatcha's lip tint. This is Plum Blossom. Look, these are like the little wheels we're gonna use. They gave us all little tripods. We have this drink to try. This is from Tatcha. It's the lip tint. I was showing you guys this in the car. I have that on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have aprons. I'll show you the apron. Look at my apron. And then there's the drink. Hi, Devin. Yeah. You want to say hi to my vlog? Yes. Hey, vlog. Hey, Period. vlog. You look pretty. Thank you. So are you. You're so today we're going to stick the clay onto our wheel. Then we're going to seal the edge. Make sure there's no space between the clay and the wheel. And then we're gonna take our sponge, put some water over our clay, turn the wheel on, and then we're gonna center our clay. Centering is basically just compressing the clay up and down. Attention. <laughs> Wait, this is kind of tea. Oh. Oh. So this is maybe ready. One, two, three. Oh, oh that was not I even close. Master, <laughs> you could never do this. Not like me. Ooh. She's an expert. Deb, yours looks really good. Thank you. Guys, look at. It. Now I did mess up the inside a little bit, but don't look too hard. I have no idea. Yet. I got this dog. I'm at Ginger's ice cream because this is the best ice cream on the market. All the flavors they got, but I always come back to her. She's too good. And then a marshmallow. My mom got. Pickled strawberry and blueberry pie mixed with sour cherry cheesecake and brownie. And then my little sister got cookies and cream, but they don't know good flavor like I do. So 
so that's that's that they they don't understand that the blueberry it's not blueberry it's blue raspberry it's the best that it gets but my camera's dying bye